What's up, you guys? So, as you can tell from the title, um, I'm going to be trying to straighten this Malaysian curly hair from Belle Virgin Hair off AliExpress. It was actually really long. I think my longest length was 22 inches, but I cut it because I didn't like the way the layers were. I cut it maybe like the second or third day that I um, uh, constructed the wig. And so, I mean, I guess you could say this is about eight, 16 inches, maybe. But anyways, we're going to try to flat iron it because it's been, I've had this hair for about a month and it's been curly the whole time and I just want to, I really want some straight hair and so I am going to attempt to straighten it. Now, because I'm kind of scared that it might damage the hair, um, I have this piece which was left from when I first made the wig and I'm going to just try and straighten a piece of this to see how well it straightens and also to see if it um, curls back up because I'm just really nervous and I'd rather not mess up these beautiful curls. Sorry if it's looking a little crazy. I just put the wig back on with the got to be glued. But um, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we can do with this. Okay, so I already sectioned off this little piece back here on my hair. And uh, if I didn't mention it already, this my hair is freshly washed. And so um, I'd recommend doing that because I just wouldn't flat iron dirty hair. So anyways, I'm just going to put this little piece of the track in my mouth right here just to hold it between my lips. And I have this flat iron. Do not mind it. I could not find my good one. So um, side note, I don't see how some of y'all girls um, flat iron your hair on like 400 degrees. I just can't. Like 20 degrees is just... It's just already too much, so 400, I could not even imagine. Anyways, we're going to put this between my lips, and I'm going to run it through with this. I detangled it with a brush before I did this, so um, and I put some of this um, coconut milk stuff on it. So let's see what happens. Well, if you ask me, that's pretty straight for one run through. Let's run it through a second time and then we'll see if it curls back up. That's the moment of truth. Yeah, it's pretty straight. Still got a semi-wave where I had my mouth at at the top, but <clears throat> I'd say that's pretty straight. Now we are about to spray it and let it sit, scrunch it a little bit and see if it curls back up. Because if it doesn't curl back up, um, I'll question this hair definitely. And I will not be um, flat ironing my hair. Okay, all right. Now I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit just to see, you know, it's curling back up. This is what my hair on my head looks like whenever it's wet. So it's definitely curling back up. That's a great sign because if it was not going to curl back up, I was just going to be pretty much devastated. But it curled back up. 
And just to prove that, we're gonna wet this piece that is not flat iron. So you can kind of get an idea of what the hair looks like when it is wet anyways. Okay, so this is the hair. This is a piece of hair that I did not flat iron wet. And this is the hair that I flat ironed wet. Not flat ironed, flat ironed. So yeah, definitely curls back up, which makes me happy because I wanted straight hair, but I did not want to ruin my curly hair either. So yeah. Now I'm about to go and flat iron my entire head and I will be right back to you guys to just tell you some details about this hair, how it's been holding up this month and to show you what it's like straight. So here's a little update. At this point, <laughs> I haven't even been flat ironed for that long and I'm just really tired of it. Um, So, little disclaimer. If you do not have a good flat iron and if you don't have a lot of patience, I would not attempt to do this. I would not attempt to straighten curl hair because right now these little pieces like this, they'll drive you insane. And this is for me trying to cut corners and make things easier for myself. That's what this is from. And it's honestly about to drive me completely, completely insane because my I don't have my good flat iron and I have decided to only go through the hair twice with the flat iron because I don't want to damage my curls. However, what I can say is that this is really soft, extremely soft actually. As you can see, there's no tangles. This is just, the comb's going straight through it. Even on the hair that's been sitting on my neck, still going through. I'm getting a little bit of shedding, but not a lot of shedding. And yeah, there's no, there's not like maybe a couple strands, I would say. So when I get through with this section, I'll come back to you guys and let you see a little update. See if I'm still willing to finish it. Another thing that I would recommend is blow drying your hair before you try to do this because I just feel like having it as straight as possible before you flat iron it makes it a lot easier on you. Although that might damage your curls even more. But um, I would recommend blow drying it. So I'm back after what seems like hours and I'm done flat ironing one side of my hair and it looks really puffy. I feel like that's because, probably because I'm flat ironing in such a low heat and because I'm just not about to sit here like forever trying to get this hair as straight as possible, especially when I don't want to damage it and I actually like it curly. So I'm gonna take this down so you guys can see. Okay, Janice, so I'll get that all in there. Looks a little crazy, but it's just a little piece that belongs on this side. However, this is the curly side, and this is the straight side. And I really love them both. And I didn't go through all this just to not, just to not finish as much as I really don't want to. So, I'm gonna go ahead and flat iron the other side. I might just go try and look for my other flat iron. But I'm gonna flat iron this side and then I will be back. Looks like two different people. What y'all think? Okay, so sorry in advance for the lighting change. It's getting like a little bit muggy outside and um, so I opened the blinds because it was making it a little bit dark in here. However, the background's really been helping because uh, usually like I come off as like really yellow. So I feel like that's been helping a lot. But um, 
anyways, I finished flat ironing my hair and I'm pretty happy with the results. I mean, it's a little bit puffy because like I said, I didn't take my time and like actually do it like I probably should have, but I am going to put this to the back and um, let you guys see the back. I don't even know what the back looks like. It's probably like really wavy because like I said, I was not, this was not like a do or die situation where it had to be straight. I just wanted to see how it was going to come out. So let me turn around real quick. That's probably really puffy, but <laughs> we're gonna make it work. So yeah, that is me flat ironing my Malaysian curly hair. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment below. Also, I just wanna say that this right here, whether you have real hair that is attached to your head or real hair that is not attached to your hair that you purchase, I feel like this is a must, like because it stops tangling. And also I feel like it really helped with um, when I was flat ironing my hair. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video.